Imagine running a fully functional Linux environment right in your Android phone. Sounds crazy, right? Well, this is absolutely possible. And the best part is, you don't even need root privilege to make it happen. So, I have mirrored my phone's skin right in my laptop. And the first app I need is Starbucks Get It from FDroid. And the second one is any VNC viewer app from the Play Store. So, first of all, I am gonna update my package library. And then I'm gonna add an Android sign to execute another command, which is apt upgrade to upgrade all my packages into the latest version. Well, this is gonna take a while. Running Linux in Android is also possible through Ubuntu Tasks and NetHunter. Let me know if you want me to upload about them. It's almost done, almost, almost. Now I'm packing stuff. Yeah, it's done. So now I'm gonna install OpenSSH because I want an easy control from my laptop over Termux. If you want to do everything in Termux, you can do that as well. Let me increase the speed of this video so that it finishes quick. And now I am gonna create a SSS key here so that I can secretly log into my SSS. If you want a tutorial about SSS channel, how it works, you can comment it below. In order to connect through SSS, I need some credentials. So. With this password command, I will set a password to this system and confirm it. And now use SSH daemon to start the SSH service. Let me grab the username of the system with who am I command. Back to the laptop, opening my beautiful terminal with Ctrl T. And now I am gonna need to connect SSH to the phone. So for that, I will need my phone's IP address. So I'm gonna get it with ifconfig hit, and there you will see your network interface. Grab your IP address, and now get in the terminal again and type ssh-p for the port. It will be the 8022 as default. Uh, he entered the username, at the date, and the IP address. After it, then hit enter. It will ask for a authentication and you are gonna need to enter the password that you set earlier and then hit enter and boom you got your SSS connected here so in there you can just I don't need this so I will remove it the MOTD file located at slash user slash etc slash MOTD and now watch me kill all these words one by one and now I am gonna save the file it and now for the desktop environment I will install x11 repo which contains the main ingredient of the desktop environment and as well as the JWM because it's ultra lightweight you can use XFCF or Genome if you like and I have used Tiger VNC for the VNC server and FE for setting up the wallpaper. And now I will create an empty folder named .vnc and a file named .jwmrc where configurations of them will be stored. The configuration in my GitHub repository link will be in the description and uh, I am just gonna go ahead and paste it all here and uh, i will edit some codes here so let's just remove this one i don't need it save and exit and then i will create a file named x startup inside the folder that we have created before Alright, so right in here our VNC configuration is gonna be stored. So copy that from my repository and paste it. I might as well send some codes later. You can check my repository for it, fork it as you like, change it as you like. So everything is done and now I am just going to download my <laughs> wallpaper from the Apache server that I have hosted in my machine. So Yeah, it's done.
to check the active VNC seasons, we can use VNC server flag list. Look at here, I have already have one VNC season running. So I'm just gonna use flag kill to kill that process. And now I'm going to create a new VNC server season with VNC server clone 1. So this is the season number 1, it's gonna be started very soon. Yeah, it's done now. So right now I will have to change the permission of the file name .bnc slash x startup to avoid certain errors about permission. Let's create a new tab and connect our VNC season with VNC viewer. Look at here, I have an empty black skin. It is because I didn't set the permission correctly. So back in the terminal and now let us change the permission correctly. After it's done, I will just simply restart the VNC season with by killing it first and starting it again. So now let's connect it. Cool. So now again I have encountered a problem which is the resize issue. So JWM refreshes itself as soon as we resize the window in Windows or in Linux it doesn't occur in the phone so I am going to just manually set the wallpaper right here you can actually make a script of setting up the wallpaper and that's it with the X startup so I am not going to go into that hassle I am just gonna do it manually and then I will customize this uh, a bit with installing some packages the Q terminal is the one that I always use so you can actually choose another one like X terminal or X term as you like so pcmanfm is the file explorer and and the stop is the tax manager I will be using Firefox as the browser oh man I got another error alright I misspelled pacman fm so it's pcmanfm say yes alright so after a while you can see I can access Firefox from here you can run automation tools and scripts like a server right in here you have workspaces I have mentioned two workspaces so you can switch between them and you can access anything from this menu bar as well so I have opened a stop and you can see the RAM usage is a lot low like 50% or 40% is being used so you can go to preferences and change certain settings of your Q terminal so that it looks really cool and now I will be adding some more extra customization to it this is the final result you get and this is you can literally do anything from running web servers to everything you could do in a Linux system. Now, let me connect by the phone. Click on the plus icon. So, uh, insert your address, it will be localhost or 127.0.0.1, and also mention the season number. And then <coughs> you will click on the uh, VNC turn off this message uh, give your password and boom you are connected so you can see the image resolution is very poor so I will disconnect first and and click on this icon and then change the pixel quality to high connect it again and you will find your desired Linux 